Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace, if you're new here. And this is going to be an update video because I realized in my last vlog I talked about moving and then I edited another vlog where I talked about moving and then I realized I never actually talked about moving on my channel, like in um, a serious context. So I'm here to do a little update on my life, my moving plans or our moving plans and wedding stuff because some of you ask me in my lives about wedding updates and I just haven't really wanted to do a wedding update because I know so many couples were unable to get married you know starting in March up until now and I honestly just didn't want to do it because I didn't want to make anyone else feel upset and I also just don't want comments saying oh well you're gonna have to cancel your wedding like I don't want to read those comments so I put it off but we're gonna discuss it all now and before we get started, I'm not naked. I am wearing a dress. <laughs> so maybe I should sit back a little so you can see it. But first and foremost, we'll start with the moving because I feel that is more exciting. So Jesse and I are moving. Currently, if you are a viewer of mine, you know this, but we live with my parents and we live in sort of like a basement apartment. It's not really an apartment, but it's basically what it is. The only thing we don't have down here is a kitchen. And Obviously, I've lived here my whole life, and Jesse has lived with me for, I want to say, like, almost four years. But we are getting married in December, so we want to move out and be on our own. So we are looking at different places, and it's kind of a unique situation, but my aunt was looking to sell her townhouse, and we've wanted to move into a townhouse because Jesse and I, we don't have the time to maintain, like, the yard and shovel the snow and do the leaves and mow the lawns just because... Jesse owns a business, he owns a heating and air conditioning business, if you didn't know, and he literally works 24-7, and when I have my job as a lawyer, I'm going to be busy, and I'm just not going to have time to do those things, and also, like, I'm not going to mow the lawn, it wouldn't go well if I did. So we just needed to live in a place where we didn't have to worry about those things, so really a townhouse was our only option, since we can't live in an apartment, we could, but we plan on having children pretty soon after we get married, so it just wouldn't be fiscally the best move because we would have to move shortly after having an apartment because where we live in New York an apartment for one bedroom you're looking at 2200 and if you need a two bedroom apartment you're looking at three thousand three thousand dollars is pretty much the cost of a mortgage so it didn't make sense to move into an apartment my aunt was looking to sell her townhouse I've always loved her home she has moved she has lived in that townhouse, I want to say since I was like 10 years old or maybe 8, and I've always, always loved it. And when she said she wanted to sell it, I was like, well, how about we buy it from you instead of you having to put it on the market? It is a seller's market right now, but when we first started this, it was not. And it just worked out perfectly because she wants to downsize and we obviously need to upsize. <laughs> I'm not going to go into like the financial details of it all, like don't feel that's necessary to know, but we are moving into a townhouse and we are moving in mid-August, which is dangerously close to the bar exam, but it will be okay since I've been studying for so long. And we're so excited to have our own place to decorate and really that's what I want to do is just decorate and just have a full house to ourselves and just really be adults because honestly, even though I live you know, downstairs and I pay bills and I, I am an adult, I do still live with my parents and it will be a huge adjustment to not because obviously I've lived with them my entire life. So it will be really weird to not live with my parents and part of me is like really sad to end that chapter of my life. You know, I've lived here my whole life. I'm the youngest child. It's just a big chapter of my life, like a quarter of it. So I am sad to end that chapter but it's sort of like delaying the inevitable. I have to eventually move out because like, what am I gonna live with my parents forever? I mean, I could, my parents would let me live with them forever, but I don't think that would be the best for my growing purposes. So that's the plan. We are moving out mid-August to a townhouse and we are so excited. We have some innovations we're gonna do, like the floors and the cabinets and that's really it. Everything else is pretty new. It was freshly painted. The kitchen was recently redone. Now when you watch my future videos and I'm talking about moving, that's what I'm talking about because I have been shopping for furniture 
and decor just trying to find some sales I'm not really buying anything full price because I don't need to have it right now but if I see anything on sale that I know I really want I've just been getting it whether it's at home goods or you know wherever because I love a good sale so there will be moving vlogs and a tour and all that kind of stuff once we actually move I don't know how much of an empty house tour we will do because we're going to do renovations and we're going to have furniture pretty much right away so I don't think there will be like an empty house tour but I'll obviously be doing moving vlogs and showing you guys all the stuff we do to the house and I'm so excited for this new chapter of not only our lives but for my channel just to be sort of an adult channel home decor stuff house stuff I'm just really excited for that. Wedding update. I had a call with our venue this week and I was just asking about, you know, how have other weddings, like have they rescheduled or what, you know, what's the deal? And they said they haven't had to reschedule the weddings from July to December. So those weddings are going as planned. The July weddings, they're having like half capacity and then August they have regular weddings like everything else is going as planned obviously that's subject to change if in august they can't they can't but she said there is no reason for concern for a december wedding right now and if they have any concerns they'll call me and we will move it so if anything has to happen we will move our wedding into 2021 not that i want to do that at all i'd rather just have a really small ceremony on our date in december and that's pretty much our plan if we can't get married as we planned we just want to do something really small because i don't want to wait jesse and i have been together almost 10 years like it's just not something we want to do we just want to be married and move on to the next portion of our lives so we're just hoping to not have to do that but all is well right now i want zero comments saying that we're going to have to cancel it we're going to have to move it because i obviously know of all of the possibilities of things we'll have to do I'm very well aware so I don't need any negative comments saying you're gonna have to move your wedding you're not gonna be able to have it no I'm very well aware of the possibility but I'm not someone who's just gonna dwell on the negative negative. and honestly there's nothing I could do to prevent it there's nothing I can do to make that not happen or make it better so I'm not going to dwell on it if we have to move it we have to move it what will be will be but I'm not going to dwell on the negative or the what ifs for right now I'm just not if we have to cut it to 20 fucking people we will cut it to 20 people and other than that since my last wedding update we haven't really done much we sent out our save the dates we got the DJ and everything else is the same we have the hotel the venue videographer photographer DJ florals my dress so really the only things we need are Jesse's tux bridesmaids dresses which we know what we're doing they just haven't ordered them yet transportation so like a bus from the hotel to the venue for the guests and things like that we're not going to go get like a limo or anything like that we're just not spending a lot on transportation because i don't care to like roll up in a limo or something i just don't care about that so we're just going to try to budget really on the transportation and the florals they don't come with our venue but the owner of the venue also owns like a floral and decor company so we're just going to go with them it's just easiest they obviously know the venue very well but i would assume we're going to do all of that stuff in like september maybe like right after the bar exam we can get back to doing that because for right now it's not really necessary nothing is going to be like completely booked the floral company already knows that we are using them for that and it's not something that can be like booked out so all of the really important things are done and then you know the tux that's sort of like a one day thing go to men's warehouse or whatever and then I really just need to get gifts for the bridesmaids and Jesse needs to get gifts for the groomsmen you know like the getting ready outfit a little jewelry like a little champagne flute things like that like cute little personalized things and stuff for my bachelorette party which is in November I want to get them all personalized like a wine glass or something and sunglasses maybe a beach bag but I'm not going to do that again until like August September because I don't want to store all of that stuff at my house and second of all like god forbid it doesn't happen I don't want to just have all of this stuff that I can't use but really other than that like there's nothing else to update on wedding planning like it was a lot at once and then once all that stuff is done it's like okay well 
this isn't so bad. Well, it's not so bad because I did it all already, but it's actually like fine for right now. The only thing I need to do is really text my bridesmaids about their bridesmaids dresses and I need to order lanterns. That's the other thing because since we're getting married in December, it's going to be very dark by the time we get married. Like our actual ceremony happens. So I want to have a whole bunch of lanterns going down the aisle with fake candles in it. The electric ones because I don't want the place to fucking light on fire. Oh my god. Um, so I want to have lanterns with little candles in them. Electric candles. And there's also a big stairway when you walk in. I want that lined with candles and like fake flowers. Sort of like weaved in between. So I have to order those in bulk from... I don't know, a wholesale website because I need like 500 of them. Probably like 200, honestly. I need like 200 lanterns and the fake flowers. But before I can really do that, I have to call the venue and be like, can I do this? I don't want to have 200 lanterns and then be like, no, that's like a fire hazard or a tripping hazard or something. So we'll see about that. And then the other thing is I want a neon sign for where the photo booth will be but that's something I also have to talk to the venue about because I don't know that they'll hang it because it's heavy so I don't know I need to see if they will allow me to hang up this huge neon sign so if not then I just won't buy it because it's like $600 but I will get it if we're allowed to have it and then just use it as decor at the house but that is my little life update my wedding and moving update because all my future videos would be really confusing if I didn't make this video. <laughs> so I hope you guys um, enjoyed. I hope you feel more up to date on my life. So many of you guys ask me in my lives about moving and I realized that I like just never spoke about it and I just start talking about buying house decor. And I was like, this doesn't make any sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope you're excited for more moving content and decorating and cleaning and wedding and all that kind of stuff like all these new videos i'm going to be able to make i can't believe it's july already i feel like the weeks are just flying by and what's shocking to me is that if the bar exam was still going to be in july i would be taking it in like 20 days that is scary so i'm kind of happy it's not in july <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm pretty sure I said it's ready, but thumbs it up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you aren't, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.